I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I don't stop. Fucking sandwich. Ha 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 ha. Look how petty they are. Hey, check out our Patreon in the link below. You'll have access to uncut and upcoming reactions, skits, behind the scenes footage, and so much more. Your support goes a long way to helping us with more reactions and original content. Also, thanks for subbing. Set, Set the, the bell, bell for, for notifications. notifications. Your boy Rock Lee. Hey, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do so. Box Machina starting now. Timer. There was two jokes. The joke can go did either you, way. Do you know you're still funny. recording over there? Did you start recording over there on purpose? No. Nah. Is that still from? No, nah, this is definitely just now. It's a minute and 40 something seconds. Okay. I just prematurely did it because I'm a premature guy. Oh, it explains why you have a daughter. Wow, what do you say after that one? Brutal, savage, wrecked. Absolutely taken down. <laughs> oh, that was supposed to get out of here. Oh, shit. Anyways, what's going on, everybody? It's Rock D. Lee. <laughs> <laughs> They're cool there. D. Nas T. Jumping into our box, Makana. Episode four, I'm ready, guys. Uh, reaction. So, uh, we've had a good feedback from the community. Much love to you guys. There's a whole lot of uh, these D&D references that they're gonna be making. I, we record ahead, guys. So, uh, one of the things that was always funny was, uh, I didn't know about, like, I didn't know about the Nat 20 part. Cause I made a joke about, yo, how, these people are taking a mad long time <laughs> trying to pick this lock. So it took so long, I was talking with the director about the comments and I was like, I don't even remember how they got into the room. Cause at some point he was doing it, we joked. And then yeah. he was in the room. Yeah, he was in there, bro. Yeah, yeah. But uh, much love to you guys. Um, I think I think everyone's on the same page. Episode one and two was more or less uh, introductory part. Mm. I did feel it on the slower side, you know, when one and two is happening, but I was like, they say this is gonna be lit. I'm gonna keep going. And episode three, personally, when I was when personally, not Percy, personally, I was like, yo, episode three is where it's at. And Percy, I'm liking that. I like they what he's about to bring to the table. They established that tension early. You start the whole episode with him watching his family get slaughtered and like, man, why doesn't it go on edge? And then it just kept building, building, building. And it all helped that these <laughs> niggas just go and fuck everything up everywhere they go. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Yo, I just, I just, I just loved how Percy set the stage. Everyone needs to behave. This is very important. Yeah. This is very Finally, important. Finally, some eloquence. Pop in circumstance. Ha, 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 ha. Legit was just proper. He was just waiting for this kind of moment. He's like, can't you all be civilized for one moment? And, and then the moment came snaps. and he snapped. It's often those kinds of people, not like whatever. Those people that say, this is the one chance. I'm waiting for that. I need everyone to behave this one chance. They're the one. Toys on the fucking it up. That, that is up. a common trope. Bruh. Bruh. I know Pretty it's a trope, but in real life, it's always been everyone else screwing up. Like in real life, you know, you're that one person who tells people, please behave. And those people that you told, please behave, are still the same ones who don't behave. Here's the thing, and keep carrying on. Those other ones were still the same. Right? They were. Yeah. But Percy's was just somehow worse. Well, it is oftentimes that person that wants people to behave, right? Everyone else is going to still be them. But that person that has the expectation from everybody else, they also have a fragile part in their mind that once things don't start going their way, they can't handle it. And then they start to fold. That's one of the common things. It has to go perfect. And they see it not happening perfect. The eyes start they twitching. Start they get a little frustrated. They're huffing and puffing at the party or the get together. And, and they're like, yelling what's wrong? in front of the they're table. Yelling, yeah, wants. that's the common part. They can't handle when things don't go their way, mm -hmm. but everyone else is living as they normally would. That's how it normally works. This was a little bit of an exaggeration in this story, but I see that happening. Like, chillax, chillax, it's all gonna be okay. And it's that person. I wanna see the fallout that's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. It looks like they was about to get kind of arrested, detained, and get their shit fucked up. Well, they were definitely arrested at this point. They're sent to prison. Damn. I wanna hear the story. How are they gonna talk out of it? <laughs> what's, are they actually, is, is the kingdom going to ask what's going on or are they just gonna throw away the key and be like, y'all ain't shit? We'll see, man. I think I think they're gonna talk to them and let them know what's going on. But if not, I'm positive they can escape. We're gonna jump into Vox Machina. Sorry now guys, if y'all haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. A full reaction and discussion is gonna be on our Patreon. Also, if you guys like our video, <laughs> make sure you smash the thumbs up, drop a comment, let us know which part of the video you like the most. A lot of people don't get it. We are normally ahead on Patreon unless it's a weekly release. So please keep that in consideration. Also hit the bell no for No spoilers though. Also hit the bell for notifications and make sure to click on our videos to make sure we get on your recommended feed. 
If you want to join the Rock Daily crew, go into the description, click on that Discord link so you connect to us and the community. All right, let's jump into Vox Machina starting now. Throw them in Oh, just not end up in jail. She's under the Briarwood's influence. I can feel it. That is a considerable accusation. But she's right. Do you have proof? Though perhaps Uriel is being too brash. Until this is resolved, you are hereby confined to your keep under house arrest. On that Martha Stewart said, that's a blessing. <laughs> just dumb to you. Oh my god. <laughs> Your fate will be determined once we hear the Briarwood side of the story. Oh, no, nah, y'all fucked. Speak to us anymore. I think she is somewhat reasonable in this situation. They still don't have the book. Oh, he got he it. He really did take it. How did they not get the book? Did they never saw the book? I think they didn't know he took anything. They knew he opened it. Besides, we have the means of retrieving it, don't we? What does that mean? Oh. The king, right? He's just gonna give them the book back. <clears throat> His bear is about to be my favorite too. Come on, man! It's not a weapon. I just want to serenade the group. And you're doing us a favor. If you attempt to escape, you will be executed. Are you fucking joking? I do not joke. I like the way uh, diversity is covered in this show. By the way, this is random. I'm not turning into a vampire, am I? Yeah. Don't ask. <laughs> Size reflection? Is that what it was? Yeah. Uriel is under a charm. Maybe Pike has a spell that can cure it. Her thing is broken. Poor uh, Pike. They did take care of her early. Uh, yeah, she was the biggest factor until that thing broke. She's the only one who could really fight them. You focus on Pizzi, then you can actually read this thing. Oh, uh, it says Pyramid, Spirits of the Dead, and right here in tiny letters it says the Fucky Vets. <laughs> I really have faith in him. <laughs> she can read it. She probably could. You never got to mention that the Briarwoods killed your family? I don't think that's... He has no reason to bring that up. Yeah. When your past comes to kill us, I say we deserve a Fair enough. That's how I'm just looking at you. <laughs> it's working itself out. What we saw was you shooting an innocent kid. No one in the employ of the Briarwoods is innocent. That was a kid kid? I thought it was a man that was frail. Yeah, he was, yeah, I thought so too. Jeez. There's a wolf. That wolf. The tutor? Yeah, oh. they had no fingernails. That's right, that's kind of torture they're talking about. I think the sister might be alive. Why'd they torture them? I think the sister's alive, shot in the dark. What's up? I think the sister's alive, shot in the dark. Oh yeah, it won't surprise me. The tutor is probably the worst part of the story. The damn tutor? Just right glamour. The teacher. Shocker. Yeah. I take those kind of things serious. Oh, so she's a necromancer too. <clears throat> she's a okay. vampire necromancer, fucking A. Yeah, that's definitely how you get demons, bro. Do with some light pickle. She can't do light. Yeah, but I'm fine. Nobody's yeah. gonna notice she's broken. That's what I'm trying to say. No one saw a break. That's the point. At least I don't think anyone did. I can't do it. Her potential is off the charts, by the way. Yeah, she's so, got like the that. best potential to be Where's amazing. Now? Once she's confident in herself, it's not. So we're separating you. They, it's like entrapment. <laughs> they knew that they were coming on that side. Oh, you can't take the cutlery. Well, what if we get hungry? Eat a fucking sandwich. <laughs> Maybe they're all getting their own story. Vex and Vax got their story with the dragon, right? Kind of. Something like that. God's my catch and Yeah, he, he. Poor Bard. <laughs> <laughs> you look at it and it's like, mm. Why are you guys, why is Dredd to make it a face? It was just so visceral. That nigga stuck his whole hand <laughs> in the jar and slapped it on the sandwich, bro. 
the group itself is not known for being stealthy, but these two are. I think it's the Vampire Squad coming through. Oh. We need to get that book. Homegrown needs a new medium or whatever you would call that device. Are you the god of lightning or are you the god of hammers? Oh shit! That's no, just him. Oh. Uh, I was meditating. Why does come with all the answers? Yeah, she's trying to meditate, dude. Don't just put stuff in your mouth. That's it. Ah! Oh my god, I figured. Oh, uh, that's just so tough. Come on, my guy. Oh. That might that might work. I believe in he's, Grog. He's not wrong. That might work. Full faith in this homie Grog. I have full faith in him, it's man. It's the simple little things that, that always, like, you know. Because work. sometimes children put things together. I hate to do that too, but sometimes yeah, yeah. children have the best answers. <laughs> so I think he gonna come with it. Sorry, Grog. I like you, though. No, that totally makes sense. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, his partner's gone. Oh, yeah. Hey, yo. It's coming from the wall? And he just watched all that shit happen. Like he was reacting to it like us. That man was like, he thought he was off screen. <laughs> Does she want to fuck him? Why? Who says it? Just me and you in here. Well, she's awkward like that. If That's it was the sister, it. maybe it'd be different, but. But I guess none of us ever share that kind of stuff, huh? Nah, I think she's just awkward too. He's just making guns. I don't get to go home until I complete it and prove myself worthy. <laughs> Which might not happen, so. And for the record, I think you're damn worthy. Aww. But there's a world of difference between your struggle and mine. You damn. have family to get to. But if you succeed or fail, your family is still alive. Spitting. With me, quickly. Mm -mm. Yeah, you might want to release the prisoners. Isn't that always the trope? The prisoners is the one who can save your ass. It happens all you got the them time. Up, oh, no the weapons, powerless. I'm so scared. He literally tried to warn them. What is that? That's some grudge shit, bro. It's like the shadows. Bro, that's gonna solve this whole problem. That must be <laughs> solve the whole problem. Why don't you be honest, something? Look like something. <laughs> and the weapons are gone. In the face. Oh Wait. no! What happens if you get hit though? That's a million dollar question. Oh, go! Go, bunny girl, go! All some beast boy shit. Nothing. Whoa. The shriek. What? Light. The light, the light, the light. Yeah, they turned off the lights before they made the attack. Uh, really use my about now. Don't you say it wasn't the weapon? Obviously. <laughs> no, not through the wall, fam. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> they don't die as fast as any they don't really die that fast. Girl, we better start praying to that goddess and start praying loud. Yep. I was gonna get him. Come on, baby girl. You yes, can. you can. You saw the flash. You don't train that cut. Loud. You can. You don't oh, shit. Enough. Bro, he about to die. This girl's gonna lose it. Make She's the sun. Make, make the sun thing. Sun. Dead. Oh, you came through. She literally made a mini sun, bro. Hell yeah. God damn. Kayla? Oh. Oh my god. Literally oh my just god. dying. Oh, they're they're killable while the light is on them. Yeah. That's crazy. 
Fight! Look at my boy Percival! Yo! No guys, his hands! Yes! Whoa! Oh yeah, bitch! You can't reach now, can you? No, the ah, black oil. America's coming. <laughs> oh yeah! yeah. Drop that album from the top, bro, nigga. Uh, Just straight barbarism. Like, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. He got stuck. Look at the tail. She looks so amazing. Look at her. Oh, this is oh, crazy. Like, scene. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> She needs to start working on her powers a little more. Oh Pushing that edge, that boundary. Can't stay. At least he's alive as a witness. You intend to stop those enemies to my men? Yes. You have my word. It's not blood. Whatever they do, they fill them up with like oil or, or tar or something. She's not going. She probably feels useless. I mean, she can't really. Yeah, she can't really do anything. Oh, she has to go on a journey. Oh, they're the original homies. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's so wholesome. I really do this tight like that. Even if I'm not around, you'll feel me there with you. It's good to see who we're like close and stuff. Today we saw the clicks. Yeah. Oh. She's gonna come back a gangster though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He ain't say nothing. He ain't say nothing. I know he likes her and she keeps kind of like saying no. He, but, but he, he comes be, off like a joke. I don't yeah, know Yeah, he do thinks... be going around. Like, it's like, how can she take you serious? He's on that Fenrir tip, no spoilers, but yeah. Yeah, he 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 be joking with her, but he does that to every girl. But she's that special one, so. But he's not. Yeah. That look was meant more than any banter that he's tried on her since the franchise started. I was like, yo, you bothered by I, I took his I took his banter even seriously, like when it when he said it to her, because it wasn't full on flirting. He was actually being like a little genuine. That's like it fair. wasn't it wasn't like his charm. You know, it was just him trying to be like, we should go together. That's just how he is, though. That's just how he is. I can identify with that. It's like, just because right. I go to every girl doesn't mean you're not special. Right. You're a specialist, though. But uh, every time he, he he hits on her and stuff like that, it's, different. it's still it means an more. extension of himself in some shape or form. He's always upbeat, right? But in this sense, to get the sad face, that's a side that he don't show nobody, you know? So to see it kind of off camera, but off, it was on screen, but the group don't see it. It's like, oh, that's how you really feel. I got you, I got you. Yeah. But you don't want to say that around. Yeah. So when she show up, I can only imagine who's going to be like, oh, I, you know, I don't know, I can't imagine this bard thing he's going to say, but he be capping, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so I don't know. I can't even explain it the best, but the point is seeing him sad as opposed to his normal uppity stuff, Look, look at him when he didn't have the cuttery for his sandwich and how everything's a yeah, joke to him. Everything's just, a joke to him. Everything is just, yeah. He's having fun. He don't care. Yeah, Does so it's nice wants. to see. And then obviously we saw Grog and... Pike. 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 Grog and Pike uh, didn't know until this episode that they went way back. Yeah, I didn't know either. He hugged, she hugged him. Yo, like, that was right? kind of fast, I but okay. Yo, I, that's what I thought too. I was like, wow. I was like, damn, she's either really pushed that far to despair or like he happens to be the only person she just cling on to. Didn't realize they was always chilling homies, but it makes way more sense in hindsight seeing that. Like, oh wow, they were homie homies. Why did it make sense like, homie, now? Homie, homie, homie. I, I mean, like, what? There's something that you noticed well, in episode one, two, and three. Well, no, it, but that's exactly it. That's there's none I really noticed that would have told me or that jumped out to me because it's probably there, but not really jumped out to me that Pike and Grog they was a duo way back in the day going on missions X Y Z, right? Even now in hindsight, I'm thinking about the intro where Grog jumps through somebody. His body and Pike is like literally Very right after really. blows through the head. It's like now I'm thinking about them. Oh yeah, they was like before they was Vok Mekina. If you told me Pike and Grog had adventures together before this, before this, I'm like no, it sound like it makes sense. But then seeing how they portrayed it here, it's like oh no, that totally makes sense. I yeah. actually did get like a little thing from it, but I didn't notice it until the hug thing. Mm -hmm. But early on, like when they're like fighting and stuff, and he's getting hurt. She would say his name. She'd be the one to say like Grog or something. It was just subtle things, but like everyone else had their own person. Mm. When the siblings would get hurt, they would each say each other's name. Mm. When 
Pike would get hurt or something, the girls would say Pike's name. Like, it was just a little thing. Scanlan, get in but there. But when, when Grog would get hurt, Pike would, like, immediately go, and she would rush to heal him first above. No, facts! You're right! Not first, friend, the but I always remember nah, it she like would go first, straight though. to him. Everyone else is kind of dying, and she goes straight to Grog, and I was like, dang. But he was doing the most. You need the tank, So it's yeah, like, it makes sense, tank. but... Because he got, he just got pieced stuff up, too! Just, it made he sense, was tanking, that's why I wouldn't yeah. bring the attention. So it's like, of course he's effed the up. Heal, yeah, the healer heals, the healer heals a tank because without the tank, everybody else is in danger. So like, that made sense on hindsight. It's like, oh shit. But he was also, also getting pieced up by the rival because that nigga went in on him, boy. He did. But he being, in on being a healer and a tank together, though, that also makes uh, Perfect sense. Perfect sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect sense. Yeah. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If y'all haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. Uh, our full reactions and discussions are going to be on our Patreon. Also, if you guys like the, our content and you guys want to see more, make sure you smash the thumbs up button, drop a comment, let us know what you guys think. Also, hit the bell for notifications and make sure to click on our videos to stay on your recommended feed. If you want to join the Rock D League crew, go into the description, click on that Discord link so you connect with us and the community. Until next time, guys, Rock D League. A dark couple nerd. Dina has tea. Out. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? Your boy Rockley. Hey, if you haven't already, go ahead and give us a follow on this Twitch channel. Appreciate you guys' support. John it. <laughs> wait, 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 I'm gonna laugh. Okay. If you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell for notifications, and check out our Patreon for full and upcoming reactions. Wow!